Did like, the drugs change him? Well, I wasn't around to see the behavior difference. I we went to jail. To, all right, so no, I lied to you. That wasn't the last time I saw him. The last time I saw him was when we went to jail in Vegas. I came to Vegas. Uh, me, DJ Victorious from Chicago. That's him and DJ Victorious is how I met uh, DJ Bands and Dirt. Uh, he used to DJ for Chief Keef and all of them when they was first coming up, and then he was like one of the first niggas to come to LA with uh, Chop. Okay. But uh, we was out in Vegas at the marquee. We was fucking with uh, ASAP Ferg, and we was blowing and shit in his room. We going to, I mean, we was at the Cosmopolitan, and Ferg was about to be at the marquee. So we was going to the marquee. I had like <laughs> probably like a half a zip of Molly on me. I already was on probation for Molly in in uh, in Vegas or whatever the case was. Well, no, it wasn't on I me. Mean, my boy had a half a zip of Molly on him. DJ Victorious. That's what he went to jail for. So I had a, a crazy. I had some lean, but they didn't find the lean because it was inside a cranberry bottle, a cranberry juice bottle, right? It was like sixteen ounces of that shit. Um, but my little dude, you know what I'm saying, little bro, he. So we was. I told Victoria, he's like, we we ain't in that late. Don't roll that. We in the elevator. Like they gonna be on it. So we walking through it. We walking through the lobby, or we walking through. Uh, you know, the casino area on our way to the club as we walking. ASAP Ferg and them, they were walking further than us, so we was, like, right behind them. And the detectives came out of nowhere. I don't know what the fuck. Like, the UC, you know, the fucking Metro boys out there, they came, made us get on the wall. I'm like, man, I told you not to roll that weed. They probably seen it on the camera. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, I told you, I don't be playing with the weed out here. This is before they was legal. This is like, 2014. So, uh, we end up getting booked, and why they about to take us? It's cold outside, so why they about to take us? He lying to him about his name. They got him pent on the car and shit. The nigga uh, Eric, and he keep on resisting. And like I'm like, what the fuck drugs are you on? I'm like, hey, bro. I'm like, cuz we going to jail, nigga. Get your game together, like nigga. Put the man cuffs on. Get your ass in the back seat. We going to jail, cuz it's freezing cold. Nigga, not about to play with you out here like that. Like, come on, little bro. We gotta go. We fucked up. We lost this time. We're going to bail out. We start again when we get out. You know what I'm saying? This is a part of the life. So uh, we went in there. They sent us all to separate floors. And that's the last time I seen Cuz. That was like 2015, I want to say. 14, Have you ever 15. talked to him since the incident? Uh, In jail? Yeah. Uh, I don't really want to talk about that. But nah, not really. Uh, but I, right, yeah. Okay. He tried to say, I don't want to talk too much about it, but he tried to send me a kite while I was in jail, whatever the case was, through a trustee or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I ain't cool. really go. I don't know if he appealing his case and all that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, you know, nigga just was explaining himself and all that shit. Nigga ain't really. I, it was at a point where I wouldn't hear no explanation. So yeah. I mean, no. I heard that there was no paperwork about him that ever came out. Nah. Nothing. Uh, so. I mean, everybody got Lexus Nexus. You can look up all public cases, type his name in and shit. Man, there's paperwork on niggas out here. Man, I got some paperwork on a nigga. I never thought I see a paperwork on. I said, hell no. Nah. Finna make his ass pay though. Oh, I'm putting it out. Uh oh. Yeah. Niggas been trying to blackball me, boy. I got it. <laughs> oh shit. There you go, man. Uh, Mr. September 18th. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have everybody wondering whose birthday is September 18th. Nah, it ain't no birthday. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. the day they crossed over. Okay, okay. How do you feel about Eric getting beat up in jail? You said. How do I, oh, shit, he got what he got coming. This is the thing, all right, what he did is justifiable. If it would have happened to somebody else, nobody would have, you get what I'm saying? Nobody would have, uh, what you call it, would have been mad at him. He killed, like, the main dude that was bringing positive 
changing the narrative about the hood. You get what I'm saying? From negative to positive, you fucked up. You know what I'm saying? He said that he don't got nothing. You knew he wasn't going to kill you. He wasn't going to try to get you killed. He said he spoke his opinion of what he thought. You could have told him, nigga, that shit never happened. Nigga, don't speak about that no more, though. Like, nigga, I ain't telling nobody. You didn't have to do all that. You get what I'm saying? Point blank, period. So it's like, but you ain't supposed to call a nigga a snitch with no paperwork. So had that happened to somebody else, they wouldn't have been tripping like that. So, But my whole thing is, you killed my homeboy. One of my close homeboys. You my close homeboy. If he killed you, I wouldn't be fucking with her. So vice versa. Like, it's some fucking with, but it ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got my name, gang. We done did a whole lot together, cuz. So I'm sick, so, like, I never turn on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, we, we you know what I'm saying? Like, I raised you, nigga. But come on, kid. Like, what is you on? You ain't got no green dots and cash apps for me right now. That's up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? What was the reaction from the inmates when they found out? Everybody was fucked up. That's what I'm saying, how much you would love. Everybody was fucked up. The Mexicans, nigga, the Bloods, Hovers. Niggas was mad at the homies. <laughs> the nigga, the ops was mad at us. Like, y'all let this nigga get killed, nigga. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? This shit is crazy. You see, everybody came to the hood, marched and all that. That shit was crazy. Were you surprised to see even, Hell yeah. you know, enemies upset Hell about yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, that shit fucked me up. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, nigga. Like, yeah, they really love this nigga. That's a hell of an impact. Yeah. Had. yeah. How'd you feel about seeing him get the star on Hollywood? I felt good about it. But with that, I gave him a star when he was alive. Like, y'all doing all this for us now. Like, uh, give us, like y'all give everybody else their star while they was alive. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? It's a win for the culture and for, for bro and his family, though. But it just, I be looking at that shit like, you know what I mean? I just be looking in the shit, so it's like, like damn, everybody else get theirs when they alive. You know what I'm saying? What make you wonder? Y'all didn't even, y'all didn't even, y'all wasn't putting his drops on 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 the news when he was dropping new Crenshaw wear and shit. When we was opening up the store, you didn't put the grand opening on that motherfucker. You wasn't following him while he was. You know what I'm saying? They did do a couple of specials towards the end, but you get what I'm saying, like, yeah. But yeah, hell yeah, that shit, that's a win. It's a win for us.